All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to March 1st, my friends. And this is one of my favorite days of the year because it does feel like we're moving into spring finally, even though March doesn't come, or uh, spring doesn't come all that quickly to the northern part of New England, but I will say that it sure feels good to say March 1st. And <laughs> as opposed to January anything, right? <laughs> All right, so let's see where we're going today. What is on offer to us from the universe today? In the extended, um, yesterday I did a week by week thing looking ahead to March. In the extended, I will dive deeper into the, the upcoming weekend, which is Saturn moving into Pisces this weekend. We are having um, a full moon in Virgo, which is about our routines and it's also about our health. So anything that is, you know, blocking, uh, blocking your health or blocking your daily happiness, it's time to release it. Okay. That's a big thing that's happening with this Virgo for full moon. Full moons are about releasing. These things are happening within the same, uh, 24 hour period. So basically a full moon is it's the full worm moon right so it's about it's uh it is all about releasing virgo is the sign it's in and that is about our health and our well-being it's also about our details and our routines so just give yourself a little chance to think about that for a second and when you're thinking also saturn and pisces is about us anchoring our spiritual connection to the universe in our day-to-day -day routine. So is there something that you're doing that isn't spiritually aligned with you, that isn't really feeling like it's it's uh, helping you go in the direction you wanna go? This is a really good weekend to move on from it, okay? So underneath is wise leader, reaching your destination and grace and gratitude. So here's something interesting wise leader, wise leader, wise leader, red rover, red rover. <laughs> so I definitely have a couple of these decks and sometimes they do get mixed up, but that was very interesting for me to see it. I pulled wise leader and there's wise leader again. So this, this does feel to me purposeful. Um, whenever something happens that I go hmm, about, there's definitely some purpose to it. And it can be that, um, basically a couple things come to mind. Either you're changing your leadership role, you're moving from one kind of leadership to another, or you are coming in contact with another person who is a leader. That's very important. Some of you may be going to a location or going to um, uh, maybe doing some traveling and you are coming across other people who are leaders. Some of you may be, um, have been asked to step into leadership, haven't done it. And so the universe is asking again, a second time here hey, it's time to step into your leadership. You are reaching that destination. Grace and gratitude, you know, through gratitude, joy expands, like being super grateful for what's going on for you. And I'm just getting the sense of like, I don't know, it's time to like double down or something. It's time to be in that leadership in a, in a bigger way, in a more purposeful kind of way, not to hide your light. Um, and, you know, coming back around again for, for another try, you know, sometimes it doesn't always work the first time we're stepping into our new roles. So you might have to, um, I don't know, look at it again. If, if it didn't work out the first time, or if you're feeling like you, Hey, I'm, you know, I'm really trying to move forward in what I'm here on the planet to do. If it didn't work the first time, give it a second try. Okay. Underneath is this five of swords. I see the five of cups and this has been a very loud ace of pentacles recently. We are definitely as a collective moving away from people who are not good for us. People who are, you know, maybe we've tried really hard to be this person and it's just becoming very obvious that it's time to move on from a group of friends, a group of people. They're not, they're not really in alignment with you anymore. So you're going to have to reassert yourself. I, I just feel that there's a new option coming. All right. A new path coming, a new option coming. Yeah. Wheel of fortune. 
Three of Cups. Yeah, definitely like new friends or something. Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Swords, Seven of Wands, The Magician, Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and The Hanged Man. Okay, this almost reminds me of a piece of music. I don't know why I'm getting that. It just feels a little bit like there was some sadness and I'm striking out on my own. I'm moving away from this sadness. Some of you may have sadness going on in your private lives and you're not really letting other people see it. Um, and that is okay. That's totally fine. I just feel the reason I said about a piece of music is the wheel of fortune is moving us forward. We're moving through this, we're moving through this. And then we get to the hangman and it's like, we have to go back again. There's something here about doubling back and re, I don't know, like rewalking a path or rethinking something. Um, there could be a sense of starting a new, <clears throat> excuse me, starting this new, new path and then having something happen. All right. Having something like stop you a little bit and it doesn't, I, I guess I'm here to say, I feel like this is the important, I mean, this may be the, the biggest message of the reading. If something is stopping you from doing a thing or being on a certain path and you know, it's your path, you know, this is what it is for you to do. What I'm getting here is that it doesn't mean that it's not for you. If you run into obstacles or if you run into blocks or something like that. In fact, it's kind of testing your metal, testing your desire, testing your uh, capabilities that you keep moving. Okay. I feel like this block is very small. I don't think it's a big deal. I think it might be something somebody says that you know you're all excited and you're going down a road and everything and somebody says something that makes you really question yourself and if that knocks you off of your path i feel like it would be good to have people around you who are cheering you on some of you may not be around those kinds of people some of you may have relationships or co-workers or frenemies or something around you that kind of delight in knocking you off the path or delight in your confusion or something like that. I really feel like there is new, there are new people ahead who are going to be very excited to be supportive of you and cheer you on and not in such a way that you don't, aren't responsible for your forward movement and all of that. But we all need people who are like in our corner. Don't we? We all need people who are in our corner. And this says to me that they're on this new path. There are some people who are definitely <clears throat> ready for you to be in their lives. You're ready for them to be in your life. The message that's coming in here is one that could make, it could feel like, um, like a block. Okay. What is this page of swords message? King of Wands, yeah, Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. I feel like you might have a frenemy in your life that is someone for, who's been in your life a long time. It could be like, you know, someone you've had just as a friend for such a long time, you don't even know how it started. Or it's somebody who's, you know, maybe it's an aunt or an uncle or someone who's in the family who is just very, very negative. Okay. And I feel like you need to just, um, move on from this person and co kind of like start your engine again. Okay. Don't go down. Don't listen to this person's criticism, uh, really blocking their, I, I feel like this person is absolutely saying things to you that are meant to hurt, meant to wound. And I don't feel that you deserve it. King of Wands. I feel like this person is um, not very happy, not really doing well in their life. And I think you need to take that into consideration. I really do. I, I just feel like you're so close to this new opportunity and new pathway, happiness, joy, maybe even love coming through or something like that. And 
a person is going to say something in the next seven days that is going to feel super critical and maybe um, it even stops you for a second. I'm here to say it's time. It, you need, just need to push through it. Okay. So that's one message here. The other message I'm getting is that there are lots of opportunities on your path moving forward and you may need to be clear enough to see them. So having people around you who are critical or negative or complaining all the time or something like that, you just really need to set a boundaries. Even if, even if these people are people you can't necessarily remove from your life for whatever reason, it's your boss <laughs> and this is, you have a good job and you like your job, but this boss is, you know, um, there are new paths to follow. You might be moving on from that job. You might be moving on from this circle of friends. You might have kind of clicked into some kind of mean girl group or something like that. You don't want to stay there. In the next seven days, I feel like you're going to get an opportunity to restart your engine, to restart yourself in a very positive direction. And nothing is going to stop you after that. However, if you let this person stop you, I feel like you're going to keep bouncing back into this place of, well, maybe I, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I have to reassess. Maybe I have to rethink. I'm here to say to you the, the main and the most important message of this is don't be deterred. You have something to offer. You have a gift to offer. You have a new path to walk. And I feel like if you look at this person from a different perspective, it's not going to do as much damage to you as maybe I might be insinuating here. You might be like, oh yeah, that's that person. I know who they are. They're super negative. I just deal with them. They, they work in my same department or there's somebody who's a friend of my, you know, a friend of my friend or a friend of my husband or wife or something like that. And, you know, it's their friend and it's just like, oh my God, like I can't deal with this person. I just feel like you need to kind of put a bubble around yourself, okay? Because that's what this is, the reaching your destination card. I always feel like this is Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. And I feel like, you know, they use bubbles in a couple places, like especially in the in the Wicked Witches, um, you know, where they have Dorothy trapped in that, in her office or whatever it is, in that big bubble, there's, she's looking and seeing her, her um, on EM and everything like that. I almost wish, you know, and then when she's, she's laying in the field, uh, from the poppies and she's, you know, and they, you see her in a bubble. There's something about bubbles that needs to be employed here right now. In order for you to reach your destination, you're going to need to protect yourself from the Wicked Witch of the West. You're going to need to protect yourself from trolls or people who seek to kind of undermine your self-confidence. This is not about a message or a messenger saying, hey, this isn't your path. Mm -mm. This is about someone who's trying to sow um, doubt. And you need to see the difference, okay? This, you have the capability of seeing this difference. Now, this is, you know, if you're ever dealing with individual people, this is a general reading, but how can you see this and move past it? Page of Wands, Judgment, Fool. Okay, um, I feel like you need to see people, you need to start diminishing the opinions of other people, okay? Um, you need to hold your opinion in high regard. You need to diminish, especially trolls or people who are negative. You really need to start squeezing down their opinions and making them super small. Because we do have a tendency as kind and generous people of allowing other people to have their say and, and you know we sort of give it equal weight to things that we say ourselves, our own opinions or the, um, the path we wanna, you need to diminish the power of what someone else says. I'll take that under in consideration. I'll take that under advisement. Right? Like that's all you need to do. You don't need to like give it some kind of big meaning. So please don't. Okay. Because I feel like you're, um, you are, uh, have an opportunity here. Ace of Pentacles, two of Pentacles, 
The Six of Swords moving forward. Hanged Man is a moment in time when you pause. But I also feel like this is saying, hey, if you don't want to keep repeating this kind of getting off the rails experience, you're going to need to see what people say or other people's opinions or whatever it is that's stopping you. You're going to need to see it in a different light. And you're going to need to give it less power. Take away that power over you. You have power over you, okay? Take away those opinions or those, you know, negative people. Just take that away. Just be like, oh, okay, that's, you know, that's your opinion. <sighs> that's your opinion. And I feel like you need to give, you need to start giving less weight to that, all right? You need to start giving yourself more. What you think does matter more. It does because it's your decision. And if people are giving you information, that's fine, but you get to make the final choice and you get to know the reasons you're doing things. No one else needs to know, all right? So if you're trying to make a big decision today and people are giving you advice, especially if it's coming from a negative place, I want you to see that and I want you to actively like give it less power, like kind of snuff it out, give it less power. All right, I'm going to continue on. I want to see where we're going with this because it must be pretty powerful. This place that you're going must be pretty powerful if all of a sudden everybody's got an opinion about it. All right, if everybody is kind of like, oh, well, you know, if you're going towards happiness for yourself and other people don't like it, let's see where we go. Okay, all right. The link is below for you if you want to continue on with me and see the rest of this reading. Pathfinders, let's keep going. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.